Minecraft isn't a game about combat. I think everybody knows this. It's a sandbox survival experience where you can do whatever you want. Now then the question becomes, why do we even need a combat update? I mean, the last time we got one, it wasn't well received. In fact, it was one of Minecraft's worst updates in the eyes of the community at the time. So risking something like this could be very, very detrimental to Minecraft's already not so well state within the community. The main reason why combat should be updated is because of the integral themes of 1.21 being a combat and tinkering update and even more specifically trial chambers trial chambers will play completely differently from each other whether you're playing on java or bedrock because the combat systems that tie everything together will be fundamentally different whereas on bedrock you will be able to spam your way through it and on java you'll have to wait for your opportunity to attack So before I explain why combat needs an update, we gotta go over our two systems of combat and talk about how they affect the trial chamber. So to recap our combat systems right now, Java Edition has a cooldown based attack system where different weapons have different cooldowns. Usually the slower ones deal more damage and the faster ones deal a little bit less. Swords are able to attack faster while axes are able to disable shields and deal more damage. In this sense, 1.9 is highly claimed to be better Better for PvE experiences since with the presence of a cooldown you have to choose wisely as to which target you're going to eliminate first. Whereas on Bedrock it's PvE experience is rather dull because all you have to do is click your mouse or trigger or tap the screen as fast as possible to kill your opponent. Still there is a strong sense of target prioritization but it isn't as important. So that's nice and all. But what sort of direction should we take the combat in Minecraft to maintain its simplicity and to sort of mesh the two different versions? Luckily, I don't have to work as hard and it can already point us in the right direction by talking about the experimental combat snapshots. While yes, they are experimental and they are clunky, and I am not saying that they should be bundled in 1.21. All I am asking though, is that these combat updates and these snapshots be brought back to be worked on in adjacent to 1.21. Let's just quickly go over why this system is a great step in the right direction. Firstly, it's accessibility. While working on a bigger video, I had interviews with my friends and one of them finding it hard to do either system of Minecraft combat because it's hard for them to rapidly click or time their clicks. If they were able to just hold to attack, it would be a lot more accessible for them. And these combat snapshots still do that. In short, you can only attack when you can. When your cooldown is at full, then you're able to hit and that time has been sped up from 1.9, thus creating this nice happy balance of 1.8. But if you do wait for your attack to fully charge, then you're able to do things such as getting your extra reach. But this also creates different opportunities for different weapons and different weapon classes. So let's talk about that. So we already know the differences between the sword and the axe, whereas this on top of the axe's extra damage, it also has less weapon reach, therefore making swords a little more different than how the axe plays. But on top of those two, we have tridents, which now have a longer melee range, which creates for a nice safer play style with also being able to throw it at enemies at any time you feel like it. Now, let me ask you something. You know how fun it is to use shotguns in games? Now, I'm not saying Minecraft is gonna get shotguns, that would not be thematically correct, but in this combat snapshot, multi-shot crossbows function like shotguns, where if you get all three arrows into that mob, it's gonna do triple arrow damage, which means meat shots equal instant kills. It is very fun and very satisfying to do, and gives the crossbow a nice niche that it fills. And also, Barely anyone uses crossbows anyway, so this change would be very good. Now, fixing how attacking works and creating certain weapon niches is one aspect of combat. See, combat takes to the tango, and I would argue the mobs in Minecraft, while it's good for them to be simple, 
I don't think every melee mob should be simple because take a look at all ranged mobs in Minecraft. They are smarter than their melee mob counterparts, whereas skeletons, strays, pillagers, piglins with crossbows will try to be a little evasive and dodge your attacks. And the breeze is able to jump around and do all these crazy things. Whereas every single melee mob in Minecraft does the same run straight towards you and that's it. So what I propose either some sort of spider rework to make their attacks a little more telegraphed, make them a little stronger hitting if they do hit you. Just normal spiders, not, not cave spiders, because that'd be annoying. Or have new melee mobs in general that have a smarter AI that make them a little more harder and evasive to your attacks while not having so many of them. So you have different kinds of enemies, uh, some melee mobs that will just be basically easy kills and other ones that are smarter, but less of them. And I believe the same line of thinking can be applied to ranged mobs too. What if we had some ranged mobs that quite frankly had some simpler AI or just did less damage in general? That way we'd have some diverse spammable ranged enemies that don't pester the player too much. And with this, I truly hope that Mojang is willing to be open if they do decide to start doing combat experimental changes because the last thing we want is for it to be a closed discussion. Combat is a very delicate thing so if they were to start working on it again it needs to be closely done with the community and the community needs to understand why the changes are being made if Mojang decides to go through with it. Now we don't need the craziest explanation in the world but something more than what we get now with like one sentence like this is why we did this, of why they do the changes that they did. Similar to how Jeb did during the combat snapshots on Reddit. He'd go very much in depth of why changes were being made, and it got to a point where it's decently fun. When I went through the combat experimental snapshot, I had a whole lot of fun with it. So I'm truly hoping that we get this same kind of combat experience within the trial chambers, because that will make it fun and create more opportunities for Minecraft to add these sort of dungeon-esque adventures. One of the things I forgot to mention is that end cities are one of my favorite structures to go through. The combat encounters there are always fun and unique. We had more unique experiences like that within Minecraft that gave the player the actual incentive to go out and do combat, it would make it feel a lot more fun too. So with that being said, that is why I think Minecraft should receive a combat update and better sooner than later. Do you agree with what I say? If not, leave a comment down below and tell me why I'm wrong or let's just try to have a nice civil and open discussion on this. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a like. And you'll also probably want to subscribe because next week I'll be talking more about Minecraft. After this video's live, at 8 o'clock, I will be live streaming the hit game, Team Fortress 2. And if you have no idea what it is, you can just feel free to join there and we can chat about stuff. So anyway, like and subscribe. Over and out. Peace.